gig him finders and just, we see him laying on the bottom, just gig him and swoosh him in the boat. I hit it on back and I was skipping along about 30, 30 mile an hour, like I said, right fast. And I came across Blair's channel and when I did, I saw something and before I could reach for the throttle, it was a crab pot, buoy. And it was being sanded up, they sand up sometimes in Blair's channel. My motor hit it and she and throwed the motor up back in the air and when it did it shared the cable and so the motor was going wide open. She was wow 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 she was wide open, you know. And, but when I walked to the stern of the boat, caused that motor to flop back down into the water, and when she flopped down into the water, she jumped like a rabbit, went, and throwed me right over the stern. Throwed me right over the stern of the of the boat. And this was 1 30 in the morning. The tide was screaming out going out like Inlet. And when I popped back up, I saw that boat coming right at me. So she was making a circle, wong, and she was about to cut my head off. And, I, and every time I pop up, she was just about to cut my head off. Wong, wong. I had to keep timing it so I could get her, keep dodging her, you know, from propeller chopping me up. Really pitch dark that night, too. But I held on to that flashlight for some reason. Finally got my boots, kicked him off, threw him away, you know, and took on so much water from, from dodging the boat. I swam away from her a little bit, swam away from the circle the best I could. But I, but I swallowed so much water by then, I was just... I was getting weak, and I just sat there and, and I was figuring out what, what, now what, big boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, I reckon I stayed in the water close to 25 or 30 minutes before finally I heard another boat coming. And I, so I took a flashlight and I started shaking like that, you know. Okay, they came alongside first and saw that, and then they saw me in the water flashing that flashlight. So finally they came up and they got a hold of me and, 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 and heaved me aboard. My boat is still going around like a wild thing. It's wow, 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 35 mile an hour. We laid there between 4.30 and quarter to 5 before she ever ran out of gas. And by the time she did, we were just about getting, getting ready to go out of the inlet, you know.